In an election between two candidates, 84 percentage of the voters cast their vote. Four percentage of the votes were declared invalid. A candidate got 6936 votes, which were 85 percentage of the valid vote. Find the total number of voters enrolled in that election. Consider 100 part as the 100 percentage or 100 part as the total number of voters. Now, out of this 100 part, eight only 85 percentage of them voted. That is 85 part voted, remaining 15 part. Not voted, and here four percentage of the votes were declared invalid. That is, out of the eighty-five part, four percentage vote were invalid. For so four percentage of eighty-five part is equal to ten percentage is eight point five, one percentage is point eight five. So four percentage is point eight five into four. Multiply eighty-five with point eighty-five with four. Four into five twenty. Four into eight thirty-two plus two thirty-four. That is point eight five means three point four part. So this will become three point four part. Now remaining is equal to eighty-five minus three is equal to eighty-two. Eighty-two minus point four is equal to eighty-one point six. So total valid vote is equal to eighty-one point six part. That is here out of this eighty-five part. Four percent is declared invalid, which means remaining is equal to remaining ninety six percent is this eighty one point six part, which is total valid vote. Now, question clearly says eighty five percent of the valid vote is equal to six nine three six. That is eighty five percent of total valid vote is equal to eighty one point six part, which is equal to six nine three six. Then. We have to find out what is hundred part. Here, five goes twenty times in hundred. Five goes seventeen times in eighty five. Now, if I divide eighty one point six with twenty, two goes four times in eight. Two goes eight times in sixteen. Now, here point six here divided by ten. So four point zero eight. This is equal to four point zero eight. Now. Seventeen goes four times in sixty-eight. Remaining one. Thirteen by seventeen is equal to zero. So one thirty-six by seventeen. End digit is six. Here it is seven. Seven into eight is equal to that is seventeen into eight is equal to one thirty-six. So seventeen goes eight times in one thirty-six. Now you can see here four point zero eight goes. Hundred time in four not eight. That is one part is equal to hundred, which means hundred part is equal to hundred into hundred. That is ten raised to four. Option C is your answer.